Mother Nature can uh, can bewilder us all. Seeing the strength and the incredibleness that Mother Nature can throw at us at any given time. You know, I've tried and tried and tried to get my message out to these people pertaining to God being God being uh, displeased in our lifestyles over here in America. And if you get to looking at the traits, characteristics that follow God, we ain't talking about a so-called God, we're talking about the God. Again and again in the Bible, God starts out with one level and then goes to another level and then goes to another level, different degrees towards trying to awaken society in God being, in God being uh, disappointed in the way that we're living. And I've said this just recently, that there's many ways to skin a cat other than one. And I think the final straw that's going to break their backs around here before they're going to finally wake up and realize that this message is genuine and authentic coming from, coming from, uh, you guys are doing a good job. Is this your property? You just helping? They need it. Um, when God is trying to get his message across, he sends his messengers or his prophets ahead of time to give the message. And if they don't take heed to the message, then he intensifies ordinarily the next level of awakeness toward trying to awaken the people that are not awakening to the message. I personally believe that God has anointed me towards me being a messenger of bringing forth a message not only to the American people but to the world in regards to the end time biblical Bible prophecies. What we're seeing here is these catastrophic events that are intensifying on a on a on a scale such as such as geologists and, and scientists has never seen before as far as not only are they getting worse, but they're intensifying towards having them more frequently. And um, it's it's super, super sad whenever you have uh, whenever you have a group of people that is this hard-headed that will not awaken because of whatever reason they refuse to uh, they refuse to uh, it's just total devastation back in there they refuse to do anything because they have become so corrupted and so contaminated with their lifestyles that they refuse to reconform. You know, the pictures that I've seen this year in Waverly, Tennessee was horrifying whenever 17 inches of rain fell out of the sky in something like less than 24 hours. I think technically it was like four and a half. But whenever you see devastation after devastation after devastation, not just here in Tennessee, but in Kentucky now, that recently got hit, and out west, pretending to all the fires. And then uh, if you'll go a little further in, in looking at all the floods that has occurred in uh, Louisiana and Texas, pertaining to the hurricanes. And if you look at the gun violence, and if you look at the drug violence, the, the drug abuse, and the, and the homicides and the suicides, um, there's not no other way to categorize this other than to categorize it in the category 
that as God is continually knocking on their door towards trying to awaken these people and them being rebellious and not awakening, God is continually bringing different degrees of punishment to society. Or let me say this to where people can maybe understand it more better. Whenever I tell people that their house is left unto them desolate. The word desolate basically means abandoned. In other words, at one time, at one time they uh, they had a relationship, or they had a uh, they had a predominance pertaining to uh, pertaining to. Uh, pertaining to uh, the dwelling in someone's home. But eventually, once God gets tired of people continually biting God's hand again and again and again, I've just now figured out where I am. I'm on Highway 45 right here. The school's up that way. I couldn't figure out where I was. This is Highway 45 right here. Going back into Kenton. Once, once uh, God gets tired of feeding people of the blessings because people continue to bite the hand that's feeding them, he basically gives them over to the devil to the point that the devil can wreak havoc upon that person's life individually or it can wreak havoc upon that person's life um, looking at the masses as far as communities, groups look at all the debris out there because society is not listening and not obeying the true Christianity form of righteousness I truly believe that God has lifted his precious hand up off of the people regardless whether it's coming in the form of pestilences, diseases, wars, um, bad events, high high amount of dollars, uh, the, the inflation going way up, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that as God is lifting his hand of protection off of us, these are the repercussions that are occurring and they're not necessarily occurring because God is causing the repercussions to occur, but God is setting back and allowing the repercussions to occur. And the reason why that he's allowing the repercussions to occur is because humanity is not grateful enough to be thankful for the hand that was feeding them originally. And because of it, God quits feeding that particular person or that particular group or that particular community because they have bitten the hand that was feeding them. Now that's the way that I understand the power of God. And there's different degrees, especially whenever the anointed one is trying to get a message out to the general public about that message, and they're still retaliating, they're still re uh, being in a rebellious state, they're still not wanting to listen to the message coming from the messenger. This is town, little town of Kenton, Tennessee. This is Highway 45 that I'm on right here. You know, this makes about the third time that Kenton, Tennessee has been hit just within the past, I guess, three years. Three or four years. Again and again and again. They continue to keep getting bombarded by storms. And it keeps intensifying and getting a little worse, and a little worse, and a little worse. This time was the worst that I've ever seen. And not only was it bad here, but it was bad up in Kentucky. It was bad in other places in Tennessee. Um, Dresden, Tennessee, the seat of Weekly County where I live, basically got almost demolished pertaining to what went on right there at the Capitol building around the uh, around the courthouse. I say Capitol building, the, the courthouse, the seat, the seat of the county. Um, they basically almost got totally destroyed shutting down a whole lot of uh, county and state uh, accommodations to be able to better the, the people. So, 
you know, I, I tend to wonder if the next level with God, not with me, but the next level with God is to allow for a major, a major earthquake to hit into this area that originally was formigated over by the New Madrid Fault on the other side of the Mississippi River over in Missouri. I tend to wonder if that's not what it's going to take because like I said a while ago, God works in degrees, different levels, just like with Moses. Whenever Moses was talking to the Pharaohs, getting the Egyptians to listen to him, he didn't God didn't come down with with the with the main enchilada all at once towards bringing pain and destruction into the into the eyes of the Egyptians. It worked its way into different levels. Level one, level two, uh, there was frogs and the water turned to blood and then this happened and that happened and it rained fire out of, out of the sky pertaining to hell and then finally there towards the last, the final straw that broke the camel's back was basically the the uh, the the level of death to where all the firstborn, all the firstborn who had been born of the Egyptian blood, that they would die the night of Passover. That's whenever all the Egyptians put the blood over their over their doorway. That way, the angels of God would be able to recognize that this house was a house of of, of lineage. Whenever God gets tired of fooling with a group of people, look at that! Look at that sunset right over there. Is it that something? Let's look at it through this direction. The way that that sun's coming up right there. When God gets tired of working with a group of people, He ordinarily don't repeat Himself too many times. And whenever he does repeat himself, yet that in his repeat in his repeatedness, the level of drasticness will be fallen up onto that society in one form or fashion that will be increased usually sevenfold. Usually. Now it hadn't been but about a week until I was pumping out some material that spoke about. I think it was two weeks ago, that spoke about increasing the level sevenfold. Once more, the government's people, the people, the people's government of America is looked upon as being a house. Not the house of God, but the house of man. As long as they was in favor of God, the Creator, the Holy God, the Righteous God, God was protecting them from the perils that was falling up into, into their lives. Well, God is no longer protecting. A matter of fact, if He's doing anything, He's allowing for Satan to bring various things into these people's lives towards trying to get them to turn from their evil, demonic, wicked ways and listen to the message coming from the messenger and turn from their sinful and wicked ways. And if they don't do that, if they don't do that, I promise you, this will not be the end of the tale pertaining to the harshness that has befallen upon two I'm going to use this terminology, the Bible Belt area. The Bible Belt area, this is not going to be the end of the degrees because there's probably another degree or two before it actually resonates into the degree of a great earthquake. And then there's always that possibility of Yellowstone National Park blowing up. And then there's always the possibility that God can release his hand off of the planet Earth and allow for solar flares to impenetrate and through our, our, uh, our greenhouse atmosphere and will basically cause that much more abrupt and damage to happen to us that way. Or, or rather than God protecting us from a meteor going to hit the Earth in a direct form, 
he sets back and allows it. Why? Why has God forsaken us? Why has God abandoned us? As I said a while ago, the American people's house has become desolate. And because it's desolate, that means there's no longer a residing supernatural figure that's in control towards protecting them. Now they basically uh, are on their own, sink or swim. And from what I can tell, what's going on with Washington and what's going on with the $30 trillion, what's going on with all the illegal immigrants coming to America, what's going on with the COVID the diseases, what's going on with the divorces, what's going on with the, with the uh, trillions and trillions of dollars in debt, and what's going on with leaving Afghanistan and leaving billions of dollars worth of equipment over there that now our enemy can use against us. What's going on? in regards towards the blessings of God still be falling upon to society here in America the way that it used to be. I'm going to tell you what's going on. It's us. It's we the people. As my grandmother used to say, Dennis, 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 there's nothing wrong with the world. It's the people in the world. The more, the more unbalanced, the more uh, irregular that society becomes, the more irregular we see Mother Nature becoming. And it's becoming that way in a much more harsher, harsher form. And these things are happening not because God wants them to happen. If God wanted them to happen, he wouldn't have put in the Bible, for these will be the days of sorrows that will fall upon the society. Instead of him putting sorrows, he would have put, these are my likings. These are my uh, rewards. These are my gratifications towards what's going on. No. God don't desire for no one to be harmed or hurt. He does not want harm and hurt to come to his people. But at the same time, it says in the Bible that my people are destroyed because lack of knowledge. If they don't have enough knowledge, if they don't have enough sense to listen to the signs that are obviously increasing, not only in magnitude, but increasing towards uh, towards um, appearances, getting stronger and stronger and closer and closer together. If they're not willing to listen, then eventually God will strike them off towards being a a cause that is basically a, a unworthy cause. In other words, we've reached the, the, uh, the uh, uh, pinnacle uh, of doom and gloom of no return. And whenever that happens, my friend, then if we think that we're going through horror today, regardless whether it be the diseases, regardless whether it be the money issues, regardless whether it be all our jobs going out of America and being taken over by all these other immigrants, uh, whenever it comes to a country basically taking itself back over after about the 11th or 12th day. The very people that we've been fighting for 20 plus years towards trying to conform. If we think that the things that have occurred, that are occurring, have reached its its uh, pentacle pertaining to its, its deepest form, we only have an, another thought coming because the, the best is yet to come. I promise you. And whenever I say the best is yet to come, I'm talking about the worst. The worst is yet to come towards how much pain that people can endure because of their hard-headedness, because of them being, uh, being against God's will. God has placed an anointing upon my life so that I can bring forth this message unto the will of not the people, but of the will of God. And if the people are not in unison with the will of God, that means they themselves need to stop and evaluate their relationship with God. Not with me, not with the windmill ministries, but with God. And as I continue to speak again and again and again, and I make these data platform uh, videos, 
um, my message is basically consistent again and again and again of that in which what God has showed me and given to me that the time has come for the Antichrist spirit, Lucifer, to surrender and to put his weapons down. And if they choose not to do this, if they choose not to do this on a voluntary level, then they will force to be do this on an involuntary level whenever God's Son himself will say enough is enough and basically end the war that Satan started. Satan was the one that, that, that drawed first blood. Satan was the one that throwed the first punch. Satan was the one that uh, that tried so desperately to overpower the Lord Jesus Christ and his kingdom. And uh, if people aren't willing to uh, to uh, change on their on that accord, then uh, inevitably, if God can't change us. He'll allow for us to die. Die not only in the physical form, but die in the spiritual form. And I pray to God that that not be the case in regards towards not only the American people, but the but the but the earthlings in general, the Homo sapiens upon the planet in general, because I truly believe that there is a promise of a better tomorrow. There's a promise of a utopia. There's a promise of societies working together and bettering not only themselves but to each other and fulfilling the duties of worshiping God and giving him the glory, honor, and praise through the Son, Jesus Christ, if, if they will only do it. I thank you for listening. Good luck to all of us. And once more, it pains me to have to put out such material like this, especially during or after a great disaster. Thanks again and good luck and shalom.